So most of you probably don't know, but a couple months ago, I got nominated for two grand. Wait, what's that? Oh, I've talked about this like a million times. Oh, okay, well, well, this time I actually went to the Grammys and did I seriously win one? Well, let me tell you all about it. As you might imagine, once I got to LA, the schedule was pretty darn busy with different events, video shoots, photo shoots, pre-parties, all leading up to the Grammys. Now the night before the Grammys, there was actually an official party for everyone who was nominated. Now this is where things started to get really real. This is where you're in a room with a bunch of people who you don't know, but who are also nominated for Grammys. I did my best to pretend like I knew what I was doing at this party. Uh, I felt a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning because I didn't know what the heck I was supposed to do. But what was so incredible was that for every single nominee, they gave you this gold medallion. Now, to be honest, this medallion doesn't really mean that much to me. I don't really see myself using it very much at all. Okay, but in all seriousness, this thing is so cool. <laughs> I uh, I was not expecting to really get anything just for being nominated, but it's really cool to me to have a physical representation of something to hold, kind of marking my experience and just the experience of being nominated. So this was awesome. It's the night before the Grammys. Um, I figured I would film this uh, mostly just for me, so I don't even know if this will be in my video or not, but I feel like this will be a good thing to, to log. So yeah, I, I think like a lot of people up to this point have asked like, hey, are you excited the, for the, ah, are you excited to go to the Grammys? But my response has typically been, well, I'm just trying to figure out everything beforehand. So I'm very much so like of the moment. So, you know, I've been thinking about all the videos that I have to film and everything that I need to get ready before the Grammys. But now it's, I mean, we're hours away and this is like happening. So I'm, uh, it's still pretty surreal. So it's hard, it's hard to fully picture, but I'm feeling pretty excited. I am, not really expecting one thing or another. If we win, that's awesome. If we don't, that's awesome that I got to go, like super cool. So let's see what happens. I, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I guess it's all pretty self-explanatory stuff, but I guess I just want to take the moment to kind of just be like, dang, this is actually for real happening. I'm actually going to have this experience. I actually have the opportunity to lose a Grammy it's not something that I think I would actually be able to say. 
And it's so weird because last year, I was literally watching the Grammys with Steve. And uh, I never thought that a year later that I would be also watching the Grammys, but in real life. So, wild. I'm excited, probably nervous, but I'm also still pretty chill. I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go to bed. And then we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right. Yeah. It's Grammy morning. <laughs> Vlog title, yeah. I got kicked out of the Grammys. For vlogging the Grammys. Oh my god, YouTube has destroyed your brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I only want to win right the Grammy to get a good thumbnail. Yeah, of course. Right? Surprise. Yeah, I mean, I can Photoshop <laughs> right, it in. for you. Let's go. Oh, that'd be good. I don't even need the Grammy. Yeah. Can we go home? Yeah. Now, unfortunately, to my disappointment, I was told that if I filmed during the red carpet, then I would be kicked out of the Grammys, which I guess makes sense. But regardless, once I got there, I was able to take this lovely picture, wait, that one's ridiculous. Sorry, let me put up the better one. This lovely picture, and uh, it felt so surreal to be there. To be honest, I had no idea what to expect, but one, the carpet was very red, and it was like a legit award show experience, which I wasn't expecting. But apparently I was on TV a couple times that you can see right here, and you can see the back of my head right here, but this is when things started to get really real for me, where I realized I am at the Grammys on the red carpet about to go into the award show. Like this is insane. It was always so hard for me to picture an experience like this because I've never experienced anything like it. So things started to get really real, really fast. And eventually our first category came up for best metal performance. And I started to get super nervous. They started reading off the names. I prevail. You switch engage. Tool. And then they announced the winner. And Grammy goes to Tool. And it wasn't us, <laughs> which was a weird rush of emotions. You get really excited and they're like, oh, nothing's happening. Okay, let's let's wait for the next one. Then just a couple categories after that. Our second nomination came up for best rock album. Then they started reading off the names again. Bring me the horizon. Kate, the elephant. The cranberries. I prevail. And the Grammy goes to. Then they announced our name as the winner. So I got up out of my seat, walked towards the stage. They handed me the Grammy. I was walking up to the podium to give my speech. And then, wait, what? And the Grammy goes to Cage the Elephant. Oh, oh yeah. We, we didn't win that one either, I forgot. Yeah, no, we didn't win that. So again, that was a crazy roller coaster of emotions. You look at this moment where you've been anticipating it for months and they start reading off the name super quick and then all of a sudden they announce the winner and it's like a big up and then you come straight back down. So in the end, we did not come home with a Grammy, but oh my goodness, what an incredible experience. Like I said earlier, I never thought I would even have the opportunity to lose a Grammy. You know what I mean? Like I never thought I would be nominated and be able to go to this incredible event. So while it would have been amazing to win one, being a part of that experience was so incredible. Watching the whole Grammys was amazing. And then being able to come together afterwards and have a super positive mindset. I'm super proud of all the dudes in I Prevail because we were able to be in totally high spirits and enjoy the rest of the night together, especially because I ran into some other bands in the bathroom after they did not win their Grammy. And that was not their mentality. They were much more 
angry, I would say. <laughs> now, I did wanna take a second to thank all of you guys for your support over the past few months, the amount of nice messages that I've gotten and just well wishes in general has been overwhelming. So thank you all so much for your support. It has been a heck of a journey and Honestly, I think it is just beginning. If you enjoyed this behind the scenes look of the Grammys, I think you would love all of the behind the scenes shows and vlogs that I have available to DBO Academy members. And make sure to mark your calendars because February 17th through the 20th, doors are going to be open to new members. Now this only happens a few times a year, and this is where you can get some serious results in your drumming as well as get more of a behind the scenes look at what it takes to be a working drummer right now. Trust me, you do not wanna miss out on this. If you're interested, go ahead and join the wait list right up here and you will get a free lesson instantly. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Stay true and I'll see you next time.